right, good day to all. Sam here with you on uh, what are we, Tuesday, September 11th. All right, so uh, as it's a Tuesday here, we're going to look at some traditional assets. And as we do on these days, well, we polled the members. You got some requests, so I have two here. So we're going to look at an equity. We're going to look at AMD. And then we're going to also look at uh, the dollar Canadian here by request. So uh, as I remind you, and I make a point of doing this, <clears throat> whenever you're trading in FX and foreign exchange markets, you really, really, really want to look long term. I know it's very tempting to want to get down into the 15 minute and get caught up in that madness. But I, I just from many, many years of doing this, I, I just promise you, you want to start daily and even higher if need be uh, to get a sense of where the trading is. It's just a smarter way to do it. Now, it does, it does require much more patience which uh, f can frustrate many, many traders because they just that need to be trading. But I promise you, if you're, if you're patient with these, you'll find that these, these moves are so sustained, they're so substantial that the money made here, when you catch them, and, and if you, again, can you, if you can confirm you've got technical trading in the market, the money made here, and even moves like this, you know, these, these are substantial. So I'm looking here, this is a three-day chart, right? So something like this here, that can be a move that can certainly, you know, make your month, if not your year. So look now, looking all the way back here to get the whole history here. Let me, do I have my whole, yeah, okay. So just coming down here, whatever this retrace was, for likely technical. So here, all right, so, you know, did they use that? That's my absolute high that I've got to work with here. So we get through the 50s, 618 holds it. But the point I'm trying to make here is that this looks to me like some sort of a truncation here. Like, so I'm not trying to connect this as a one, two, three, right? I'm just, because I've got a good pivot here and I can get very technical movement, movement off of that, I think that's less likely. It doesn't, it doesn't really help us trying to connect these two. So, now here's on the three day here. Now take note here. This is a three day chart, right? Which I prefer to the weekly. So working off of this pivot low here. So let me, I'll just wick this off here. This is what I'm working with here. So that is the two, August of 2011 low, right? Where's our high here? This is 16. That's a five year trend, right? So you think, oh man, come on, get real, right? Could anybody stay with that? Well, Professionals will, so we can, we can look here and say, well, if they sure looks like I've got a one, two, so we can look for a relationship between the two and the three, you know, right where you'd expect it, between the 23 and the 38, right? It's not to the tick perfect, but note here we go up and get just shy of the second target. So if if indeed, and I've got good subdivision here to give me that, 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 that impulsive structure that I need within my third, the extension comes in the fifth down for the four and it looks like I go one, two, three, four, and again, get an extension in the fifth. All right, so I've got pretty technical trading here and then pretty pretty hard not to call this an ABC. So if, if we're if we're looking at that thinking, oh, all right, well, cool, we got five waves, completed one wave. What do we know? We mark its trend in fives, they correct in threes. Well, you look at that and you think, okay, well then likely that's, that's some sort of a two wave there. Well, does it meet, is it, is it technical, right? That's always the, qu the question. Is it technical? What else is there? Well, we can look from this side and think, hmm, okay, well, if I've got an A wave into a B wave, well, that's interesting. We go just shot, so we get a little reaction here at the 50, back up to test, they get to the 618, right? Where now goes to the algos that sold here are defending right up to this. Then we get a, just a straight rip down, right? Which gives us our ABC. Now, but you look, note here and you go, hmm, all right, we're a little shy of target, right? So it doesn't quite make it, right? So that's 120 and the target was down here at 19. It's almost a full points distance here, right? So it's it's exaggerated since we're looking at the three-day chart. So you look at that and you think, hmm, wonder why it doesn't get to target, All right? So then you got to look, well, what else is there? So if we just pulling from my swing low to my swing high, what do we run into, All right? So you see it? To the, it's to the tick, All right? So from swing low to swing high, where are we looking for the two? We're looking for the two at the 50, right? Anywhere from the 50 to the 786, so pretty substantial range here. But it, as you're looking at the question is always, why does it stop there? Why don't we make target, right? So if, you, if, you're, if you're just thinking about the short side, like, oh shit, man, why don't we make target? Well, you gotta, you gotta know what else could be there. What are you running into? Well, the most obvious one is that we've got a potential wave two here. So we get our ABC, we run right smack dab into the 50 and then look at the reaction, right? So that's what, what, what the front, front run by a few ticks. That's 120.06 and our pivot here is 133. I mean, these are gigantic moves. 
right? It's distorted because you're looking at the three day. So now I would come here. So next I would go to the daily and say, well, what can I learn here? All right, so I, I, I like to stay four hour and above, but I do most of the work here off of the daily. So looking here, so there's just absolutely textbook, right? It actually looks like we might have some geometry in play here as well. It doesn't quite get there. So the 50 held us, so it's a sign of strength. So, so one of uh, Andrew's trading principles is that a failure to make the median line is a sign of strength, right? So, so the, the observation he made was that a failure to make the median line creates a move equal to or greater than the prior pivot, right? So the distance of, the distance of this swing, the failure to make it should create a move equal to or greater than the distance of this swing, which put us up here. So it's a sign of strength. So we run into the 50. So who, who's so look look what we've done here. So from swing high, now, now I'm back to the daily, right? So from swing high, swing down, we go 50 reaction, 618 reaction, 50 reaction. Are we coming back up to the 50? So we're just we're just moving technically. So this is what you'll see when you start to look at these longer degrees. So 786. So if this is a one, two. That's that's the last step. That's where you'd look for. That's as much room as you'd give it as a one two, and note what happens from that. We go right to target to the tick. Now, so we we look here now. So let me pull some of this off, <clears throat> clean up the chart. So we've had this so from the seven eight six to the algo target. We come back down. But if we're thinking with our Elliott hats on, let me pull some of this off. Let's clean up the chart on the assumption that this is our dominant pivot. Now, this is the pivot that matters that we're so it allows us to trade this as a one, two. Well, if that's the two, well, we're, we're just getting started on our third. Well, it looks to me, I can see I've got five swings here, but do I have the, the ingredients in the right swing relationship to, to accommodate a one wave here? So I look here, so I know this is potentially a good two. Well, I got to start measuring now. So if I take from the length of my one wave to my pivot here. Ooh, isn't that interesting? So note here, so we go 100 to the tick. So barely, let's check that. Let's go down, uh, see if I can get there on the hourly. Let's just see if we actually get through because we are on the, oh, shit, I gotta get way the hell over here. Yeah, okay, there it is. So we get through by a couple of ticks. All right, so we do have the qualifications here for for a third wave. And if we look here, we can see the subdivision looks pretty good. So we can look here and see, okay, well, it looks to me like I've got one, two, looks like that's three, A, B, C down for the four. We don't overlap the one. So I've got a good contender here for an impulsive structure for my third wave here, just barely, barely qualifying. Well, let me, let me pull this back out. Let's see if we can see it all with the four hour. All right, so there, there's my qualifier. So potentially now, and we got it. just because we have the conditions for a third doesn't necessarily mean that 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 will end up counting that as the third. But I do have I do have an impulsive structure here, so I can't ignore that. So if this is one two, this could be one two. Right, so we could so now if that were the case now, and this were if we were going one two three four five, well then we'd have to do just as we did before. We'd take it from the low to the high. Right. Well, all we've done is the 38. Makes me think more more likely, you know, could be a four. Well, how, could that work as a four? Well, I don't want I don't want to discount this <clears throat> this here. So we would have overlapped the one. Right. So here's our here's our one wave. So with that overlap, now I got to think diagonal. <clears throat> Sorry. So what else is there? Anything there? Any geometry here that can help me? If I look here to here, All right? That's to the tick, right? So that adds more, well, pardon me. It's to the, to the, we're damn near to the tick on the 100, but we come right to the median line. So we get a, a, a nice corner pocket here, right? There's, right, as I will always remind you because they're so, they're so important. That's the highest odds in trading. If this pivot holds, we draw that geometry up, 80% probability of making the median line, just shy here, but we get it here. So that, so what do we have now? Could be one, two, one, two. Do I have enough to go again? Well, let's 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 look at it. So I look at that that length here. Oops, wrong one. So that length of that one down from my two. Well, what do we get? 
Well, look at that. So we're a little shy. But look, th so this move projected from this, so we have almost par al almost p perfect parity. But if this were 1, 2, this is not yet qualified to be my 3. We've, if this were 1, 2, 3, 4, we'd ar we've already overlapped. So we have the, so we have a couple of, of possibilities here. So let me clean all this up and let's, let's think about our alternates. What, what else could be happening? All right, so one possibility here, that this is one. Mm, let's see here. So that looks like A, B, shit, can't be, because that, two, that can't be one, two. So it's got to be, that's the pivot here. So it's got to be this here is the two, one. Now this could be three, four, five. That's possible, right? So we looked at that. So meaning <clears throat> we'd have a diagonal. Right, we can. Ideally, you're looking for three-wave structure, so that I don't like that as much because I've got an impulse right here. Right, so that's 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 an alternate I don't like as much. So let's think about what 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 another alternate would be. Well, this could be one two one two, right? That's one possibility here. So this would be. So this oh, let's pull this off here. So we'd have one two one two. So let's. If we, if we think about that, now we're thinking about a diagonal. So this would be one, two, but then I don't get 100% here. So then it makes you think, maybe I've, got, maybe I've got one, two, three, and I've overlapped here. So that makes me think I, I've got this. So potentially, it would be one, two, three, four, five, and we've got a diagonal. All right, so let's pull some of this off. So potentially now I've got this as I, my one wave, A, I can have a truncation, I, pardon me, I can have an expanded flat here. So I could have A, B down for the C, for the, for the two wave. All right, let's look at where that would be relative to, so we, now we'd be trading this as an A, B, C. So we'd have this. So we know we have an A wave here, A, B, C. We know that these are almost exactly equal within a few ticks. So potentially now I've got a diagonal underway coming off of this pivot down here. So I could have one, two, A, B, C, A, A, well, let's see. It looks like A, B, C. Can I get five out of that? We gotta go look there. So we're looking for a relationship here between the start of the one and the pivot of the third. Do I have anything technical there? So if I grab this low up to this, here, well, that's the one I showed you. We're at the 38, right to the point of control, interestingly. So I've got a, a candidate here. So this would have to be, we'd have to take it this way, A, B, up into the C here yet again. Let's change that degree, or pardon me, that color, so we can, we can stay on the same degree. We can go up one, I guess. We'll go up one. <clears throat> All right, so does that start to make sense? Well, if it's one, two, three, four, this is, you know, we've gotten just the qualification that we that we need. We've had the overlap, all of these pivots. So we have this base here of, of prior resistance becoming the support, right? So a candidate here for my four, right? In a diagonal, you'd like it a little bit deeper towards the 50, but this, this all still plays, doesn't disqualify us here by any means. So looking at that now, so we, we kind of draw this up and it looks like I've got a fairly good channel being established here. So if I'm doing something like this, giving me my pivots here, you know, could, be, could be here. We just had a little throw over, but I would lean into that. Let's get this down a hair. Yeah, right about, right about there. Okay, so we've got a target up here for our fifth. So if we're gonna get there, we gotta get a one, two. So we're looking, if we're gonna stay with this diagonal structure, if we have this properly identified, coming off of this as we're just trying to put in our one wave, well, we could do some projecting. Is there anything else up here? So obviously we have the algo target. Well, we can look for a relationship between the start of the, of the one through the three projected from the proposed four. So interestingly, we get a very, very common target in a diagonal is 618, the length of the zero through the three, or the start of the one through the three. So I'm getting a little more confluence up here. So I like that, right? That's giving me a target here, which makes me think the, the play is I've still, I've still got this potential here. So what I'm looking for is the one, or the A, or the, we'll see how it plays out. You know, can we get something like that? I, you know, we don't we don't know that that's finished here, but at some point we, we'd be ideally right. So we'd have a, a leading diagonal. We could have we could have a we could have a diagonal here. So we could still have five. So we could finish. So we'd be 
wouldn't be surprising to have an ending diagonal finish this leading diagonal, right? So right now, all we're looking for is from the pivot here, if that's a, if that's a, our one wave high, and we don't know that it is. So I'm going to go down to the, to the one hour and see how this looks in terms of a potentially completed wave structure. So I'll pull some of this off since we have that pretty well established. So here's our candidate for a four. Well, let's open it up here. Yeah, it's not, not a great start down here, but it, it would be consistent with a diagonal. So let's dial this in here. So, so potentially you could have this, it could be, could be we have an expanded flat. So, but I'll, I'll just use this one, two, three, four, five, maybe. Maybe that's our one wave. And then coming down here, it's not the prettiest I've ever seen. One, two, C would put us down here. So we have a candidate here. So we'd be looking for it right here at the 50. We'd be looking for it at the 50. So is that technical? Well, let's check that B. If that if that plays, looks like that could be certainly pushing the seven eight six. So we're pushing the seven eight six here as our on our B wave. Always a push to get to new highs that fails and rolls over. So I've got I've got my first algo target here. You know, I I would I would defer to the fifty. All right. So I'd want I'd want to see this come back if this is going to go on a larger degree. If we're going to go as one two, so I'd want to see one two three, four, and five, those are just placeholders. So let's go, we'd have to go up a degree. So possibly, right, we've got just the one wave going in to finish to finish this last move up. So if we're looking for a 50% retracement, we'd be looking for this to finish down here. For the, there's the algo play, but that wouldn't necessarily suit us as it relates to the Elliott count. Right, the Elliott count could have us going much higher. There's nothing says we have to stop up here. Right, so all of this can can go up here. We'd anticipate a reaction there. All right, so let's pull back out. Let's go back to a let's go to the three hour and see how that would look in terms of completing on this larger degree. So here's our upper target. So if we're gonna go one, two, we are we would be anticipating more movement out of that to get us up to a three, four, and five here. So this is our larger degree five. Let's get that. All right, there we go. All right, so it would be three, four. Potentially now one is in. We're in the process of putting in the two. All right, so I want I would wait for the 50 on this myself. So we've got a little band here. So we got second algo target between the 50 and the 618. So for me, I wait. I wait for my price. So I, anywhere in here, I'd be looking to be a buyer. I know, well, see, so now you got to make a decision, right? Do you want to give it to the other side of the 65? You want to give it to the other side of the 786, knowing a two can go that long. So that becomes a question of what kind of size are you putting into the trade? What is your risk tolerance? What does your trading plan allow for you per trade? That would give you some indication of, of the kind of size that you might be able to put on there. So first assumption is if you're stopped out, what's the impact to your account, right? Can you, can you withstand that without doing too much damage? So one of the nice things about, about FX is that we can trade minis or micros or you know partials. So you might take a, a partial here if we come down towards the 50, knowing that you might look to add at the 618 if we're gonna continue to come down, average those two prices, then have an absolute point where you're out, right? So that's could be under the 786. Again, it's a function of how much, if you're stopped out on all of it, what kind of loss and impact is that to your account, right? We never wanna sub subject ourselves to a knockout blow just because we got caught up and we like the count, we like the trade. There has to be an absolute, no, I won't risk a penny more than that number that you stick to. So I would look in here, I like this, right? For our, for our two wave here, it's all very consistent with what we're seeing. And it doesn't, even if we end up recounting this, it really doesn't alter this 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 course that we're on. So whether this is whether we come back here and relabel this, I, I don't think it hurts us either way. It still is very consistent with what what we'd anticipate in a one wave here. We're just looking for this to finish with this diagonal structure. So in in keeping with that, the target up here at the six one eight, the length of the one through the three, I like that. I like that confluence. So I want to be looking at long trades to try and get up there to complete this one wave. Now, if we go all the way back out to to where we were, where we started. And what that would mean, that would just be the one way potentially now. So understand what, what I'm saying here. So this is potentially just the one wave of the third wave in the, in the larger degree. So let me make this so it's 
obvious. All right, so let's go, we'll go up to intermediate. Okay, so this would be one, two in the larger degree, and then this would be one wave of the third wave because my third wave target is way, did I put it in here? I said, hmm. oh, here it is, All right? My third wave target would be way over here, All right? Relative to this as a one wave, All right? That third wave is gonna be way the hell up here. All right, so if this is one, two, we know the, the high probability zone for a third is going to be up around the minus 100, somewhere in that zone. So this would just, so the, the trade we're trying to get on board with is, is this. So here's a, a one, two, three, four, five, something along those lines to target our third. And we, you know, again, this is hypothetical. We don't know what it looks like or how long it takes, but that's the trade we're trying to get into, trying to trade into the four to the five of the one wave of the third wave, recognizing that that's gonna be a, a place to be looking to take some profit because if this is gonna play as a one, two, we're, we're looking for a 50% retracement. So since we, well, I know you can't see that. So since we bought the four into the five, since we're trying to trade this, uh, where'd you go? We're trying to trade the four, the, the 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 two into the three up to the five. So that's what we're trying to trade to get this complete this one wave. But if that completes as a one wave, the, we're anticipating now a fifty percent retracement, which would put us below our entry here. So this would be a place to be taking a profit and then anticipate anticipate it, if I can say it properly. The, the three wave coming down to take us back to that B before we go up again. So again, these are long-term trades. These are not trades that you have to babysit throughout the course of the day. What you're just looking for is that entry, stop placement, then you let the thing play. Right? So you're not, you're, not, you're not nervous about it, right? And the other thing about FX is I will remind you, you don't, you know, has it happened? Yes, but for the most part, you, you don't need to worry about whether your stop's gonna get filled overnight. All right, again, Shit happens, right? It's, it's happened, but it's very, very low percentage. Very, very low. The, the broker doesn't want that. He doesn't want that liability of you uh, stop not getting filled and you unable to meet a margin call. That that's something you really don't have to worry about in FX. Somewhere in the back of your mind, yeah, I know it's happened, but it's not. It's not some. I put it. To, I don't worry about it, right? I don't, I don't worry about my stop not getting filled. So we come down here, we trade into the two, trying to get up to the five. Wait for the retrace. So you're getting a, a months long roadmap here. Looking for this to complete the one, now you're waiting for the two. Now, nothing says you can't trade, say, the B into the C on the short side. If we complete up here and it's technical, right, as FX, just as easy to be short as long, unlike crypto, where it's a pain in the ass to be short. So you can come down here, to let the A get established, right? What If we get a five-wave structure, that would imply the A wave is going in. Wait for the three into the B, and you can trade the B into the C. That's the better play. So you can you can catch the short down into where we'd be looking for the two, if assuming this completes this five-wave structure. Well, fives and threes, we'll wait for the three, look to reload on the long side. Again, that's the best when you can catch the you know, it's, it's not, not easy to do, but it's, if you can ever catch it, it's as about as satisfying as you'll find in trading where you catch the, the, the pullback down and then you reload here right as you take profit on that to catch them. So you catch it down, then the up. It's as good as it gets in trading. All right, guys, so that's, uh, that's pretty much what I see there. I think there's plenty of opportunity. Now we know in the background we have all the, the political... Oh, bullshit. What do you want to call it? Wrangling, Trumpism, whatever you want to call it. But we know Canada's right in the middle of that. So, you know, you got to keep that in mind that the, 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 just a single tweet could change the whole thing. All right, so know that going into the market. But again, I don't worry about stops not getting filled here on the dollar cad. So stay, stay big picture with these. Don't get caught up in the backwash. So just, you go down, you get underneath an hour. It's an insanity down there. I, I, I've been there. I've tried to trade it. It's over time. Just the 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 volatility will work against you. You want to stay longer term so you can see these trends unfold. It's very clear where the pivots are, where to be, where you're wrong, where your counts are invalidated. And again, you don't have to babysit the trade. All right, guys. So I've got one more to do. I've got uh, AMD teed up for our next one here. So you know, look, look forex. You know, it's not it's it's not quick action, but it can be very very profitable if you can get on board one of these trends because they sustain. All right, guys, I'll wrap it there. Back with one more later.